Welcome ladies, I'm so excited to get started. Okay, so by now you should all have your program. If you don't, let me know um, if you don't. So I'm gonna just briefly go through it, touch on a few housekeeping things um, before we get started, officially on Monday. We're gonna do a bit of prepping this weekend to get you started because this is it. You guys are going to get the results that you've been waiting for. No more struggling. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the program. I have went and print, printed mine out. You can print yours out or you can uh, stream it from your phone. It's 30 pages long, so just to give you an idea. So let's open it up. So first I wanna go through a few housekeeping things. So what you can expect from me is that I'm gonna show up daily. I'm gonna be here in the group every day, giving you advice, answering questions, cheering you on and helping you along the way. I'm gonna be in the trenches with you working out. I'm gonna be along beside you. You can expect me to do check-ins with you once a week. So for those of you who are actively participating, if you can comment below that you're participating in this round so that I know that I have to check in with you each Friday. So comment below if you wanna check in. It's all about accountability. If nobody's gonna check in on you, it's easier to fall off the wagon to, to stop your workouts, to um, back into binge, eat, binge eating habits. But when you know that there's somebody there that cares about you and believes in you and is gonna be checking on you, you're more apt to stay in line. Now what I expect, what I expect from you guys is I expect you to participate in the group. I put a lot of work into this and I wanna see you succeed. A big part of succeeding in this journey is putting it out there. Have it, using the group as a check-in system, connecting with the other ladies in the group who are doing this with you, sharing your food, asking questions, post workout selfies, do videos, um, post in the group during the day so that we can see your stuff and I can see what you're doing and I can tweak things if I need to. So I expect you guys to participate in the group. It's gonna make it a really well-rounded, um, supported community. You can trust the ladies in here. We're all very trustworthy. This is a non-judgmental -judge zone. So really, I encourage you to participate for accountability. It's gonna really help you stick to this when there's other women commenting on your stuff and cheering you along. And just a place to come to say, I did it, I'm checking in. Look at, this is my meal today. This, these are my meals. This is my workout. Let's get ready and let's do this. We're on to tomorrow. So it's just a place to come and just feel supported, okay? So I'm gonna to touch on a few things in the program. So the first page, you'll see that um, I introduced myself. If you don't know me, I'm Courtney. <clears throat> you may commonly know me as One Fit Mom Fitness Online. And uh, my kitties are playing here. So <clears throat> I'm a dental hygienist by trade. I still am and uh, health and fitness has just always been part of my life from a very young age. Most of you may have known my story. I struggled with um, confidence, anxiety, depression. Um, I was overweight when I went to college. My BMI was too high for my um, height ratio. I struggled to lose weight. I binge ate. Um, I've struggled with a lot of things that you guys struggle with. So I tried a lot of things. I did the hamster wheel for a while. Nothing worked. I spun my wheels for a long time. For a good whole year, I was really just cardio based, running hours, not hours, maybe 40 minutes on the treadmill each time with no results. And then I started strength training and I started changing my nutrition. And that's how this program came to be. I've been doing this program for 13 years now and it's just embodied everything that I am. And I just 
just uh, I'm so happy to share it with you because it's changed my life drastically. So the first page you'll you'll um, learn a little bit more about me. <coughs> the second page is disclaimer. I always ask you to check with your doctor before training. Um, if you're pregnant, always check with your doctor just to make sure you're. You know, you have no heart problems, even though exercise far outweighs anything that we do um, other than, you know, sitting on the couch all day. Exercise is huge, but I always recommend that you get a clear from your doctor. Page number four, we go into why nutrition is important. You can read over this. Um, you probably know most of the basics as to why nutrition is important. Our body needs food to function. Sorry, I have a cold or something going on. But our body needs food to function. Um, if you had the mentality that I had when I started was uh, less is better. So if I eat less, I'll lose weight. Not true. Your energies are going to drop. Your blood sugar levels are going to drop. Your body's going to produce more insulin. Or sorry, no, your body's going to produce less insulin. You're going to become insulin resistant over time. If you live that way, your body will become insulin resistant and store more fat. I'll go into more science on that as we go along in the program. But the, the, the thing you need to keep in mind is we need food. When we get to the meal plan portion, you're going to see that there's a lot of food and it may be more than what you're used to eating. And a lot of the times people have gone through my meal plan say, are you sure that I'm supposed to eat all this food because I've never eaten this much before and I don't want to gain weight? And I say, just trust me on this one, follow the meal plan, and we'll go from there. And they're pleasantly surprised at the end of the seven days that they've lost anywhere from five to seven pounds just by changing their eating habits. Our body loves food. We just need to nourish it the right way, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Okay, page five. <clears throat> are my clean eating principles. These are principles that I follow on the daily. They've helped shape how I've changed my relationship with food. So you can take a look at the principles here and, and these are the principles that we are gonna follow during our time together um, indefinitely, actually, I hope, for you. Page six, we go over some meal prepping tips. So I give you some tips on how to get ready on the weekend and prepare for um, easy grab-and-go foods to help you through the week because I know a lot of you are busy moms, you're, you're working, a lot of you work shift work, you got to be prepared to go into your week. And then we talk about some portions because although I don't measure my foods, I'm, I know the eyeball, now. I've done it for so long that I can eyeball my portions, but I want to give you an idea of what your portions are supposed to look like. Now there's no measuring, um, I know a lot of stuff can get hectic measuring and counting and it's just too much for me as it is probably too much for you. You get overwhelmed and you just throw your hands in the air and you're done. So I don't want that for you. I'm going to give you a baseline of what your food should look like. By the, by the time the first few days are done you're going to have an idea, okay well you'll have an idea what your portions look like and you won't have to measure anything, you'll just put it on your plate and you'll know. The next few pages we go over um, there's three main macronutrients that we're going to work on during this pro program, and it's protein, healthy fats, and carbohydrates. We want to eat all three of those throughout our day. So the next few pages, you're just going to see a list of healthy proteins um, and their portion sizes, healthy fats, carbohydrates, which, which are um, starchy examples, and then I've got fruit examples and vegetable examples because those are all carbohydrates. And then at the end we have extras, so I, I have threw in some extras like green tea, black coffee, sauces, anything spices that we're going to use on your food. When we come to the next page, you're going to see um, your meal plan grocery shopping list. So you can see that there, I've laid out all the, the food that you need for the meal plan. So you can just take this list and go to the grocery store and everything on it will match the meal plan for the first seven days. And then we get over to the next page, which is the meal plan. So it's the seven, I give you seven days to start. After the seven days, this is what the group's for, we'll work together. 
You can ask questions, you can bounce ideas off me, you can send me your meal plans. I want you guys to get used to building your own meal plans as well. So I give you a baseline and from here, from next week's forward after this initial seven days, we're gonna work together to continue to help you build your meal plan so you're comfortable at building your own. You're welcome to follow this for days and days and days. I'm like a, a creature by habit too. I eat the same thing all the time and it's just what's easiest for me. So for, we're gonna go into more depth later on in the meal plan. So bear with me. Um, I wanna go over it in more detail, but we'll just brush by that. And then after that, you'll see the grocery shop checklist. This is a list that you can keep in your purse. I've listed out all the healthy carbohydrates, all the healthy protein, all the healthy vegetables, fruit, healthy fats, because I always say when you're eating, you wanna include a carb, a protein, and a healthy fat in your main dishes. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's gonna help regulate your blood sugar levels and help you burn more fat because it's increasing your metabolism. So for this list, you can take it to the grocery store and say, I need healthy fats for my lunches. And you'll look down and you'll say, okay, walnuts, I'll get some of those. And then I need some healthy carbs for my breakfast. Okay, oatmeal. So it's just an easy way having it all laid out <laughs> where you can just, you just know your food groups. Okay, next one is goal setting. And this is what we're gonna work on for the next few hours or today is setting your goals. If you don't have a plan coming in, it's hard to stick with it and it's hard to be realistic about what you want on the, on the other side. So I want you to sit down, have a goal or a goal setting. If you don't print the document out, take a piece of paper. On the document, there is a spot at the bottom to write your goal. I've given you some examples on how to write your goal. I want you to make them um, attainable and realistic. So set a goal for three months time. That's about summer. So set your goal for what you want to achieve by in, th in three months. And share it. Share it in the group. I want to hear your goals. Um, and I'm going to give you an example. I will lose 15 pounds by July 1st, 2018 by preparing my meals weekly, which will help me stay on track with my nutrition. I will drink my recommended amount of water each day and I will exercise 30 minutes a day four times a week. So that's a good goal because you're saying, Brooke, <laughs> You're saying how much you want to lose or what you want to achieve. Maybe you want to gain weight. Maybe you want to gain muscle. Um, and you're giving yourself a time frame. And then you're saying how you're going to do it. So how are you going to achieve that goal? So think about your goal today. Share it in the group. I want to hear all your goals. And that's what I want to work on today. The rest of the, <clears throat> the plan uh, we're going to go over in the next coming days. Another good thing to take today too is, me is uh, your starting photos. So we have here measuring success. I'm teaching you how to measure your success. I'm not big on the scale. I don't even own a scale. Well, I think I, I do, but the batteries are dead. I haven't used it for a long time because it doesn't measure your, your progress. Your weight may go up. It may go up during this program because you're building muscle and if your weight's going up that's a good thing because it means that you're building muscle and that's the main goal of this program because that's the secret to weight loss the more muscle you build the more fat your body's going to burn hands down that is the secret to weight loss and a lot of people, a lot of women, deter, deter away from lifting weights because they're afraid they're, they're gonna get too bulky. That is impossible for us. It is impossible without supplements and harsh, harsh supplements that help um, lean out, grow, grow your muscles, um, testosterone. It, there's just, there's no way for you to get bulky 
by lifting weights. So another way to measure your success is progress pictures. So I want you today to also put your phone on timer, stand in front of it forward, and then do a side view, do a back view. I give you some examples in the program here. Take three starting pictures. Now you can do measurements too if you have a tape measure. And the three main, or the, some of the main spots you wanna measure would be your, um, your bicep, your waist, and your thighs. Those are the three spots that I would measure if you're gonna keep track of measurements. But the biggest thing you could do for tracking your progress is taking pictures. So those are two assignments for you guys to do today. If you feel comfortable posting your starting pictures and saying bye to those and you wanna post them in the group, we'd be excited to cheer you on and to see them and, and watch your progress. But I would like you guys to post your, your goals. So we're, not, we're only halfway through the program, but we're gonna go over the rest, which is getting into strength training probably tomorrow i'll probably touch on that tomorrow i don't want to throw too much of you too much of this at you at once so i'm going to give you that for today to work on and i'll be back in touch with you guys and i'm so excited i can't wait to see the progress come out of um of this group just in time for summer so i'll talk to you guys soon and you have a fabulous day